So Gary, what are we gonna call your new memoir? Well, I wanted a title that celebrates my quiet brilliance, but in a way that's also fun. <laughs> I was thinking, Portrait of the Artist as a Young Mensch, or, or, a heartbreaking work of staggering Junus. Maybe one of those two. We've done a focus group, and readers associate you with two words. Little. Because of your small stature. And failure. Because you're a failure. Little. Failure. It's funny, and it's true. Can I discuss this with my husband? Hey. Hey. Little failure? After the hundreds of books I've sold for Random House. After I've been translated into one language. Uh, Canadian is a language, baby. You don't know what you're talking about. Look, I don't think of you as a failure. And I certainly don't think of you as little. <laughs> you're sweet, you're sweet. And I have a surprise for you. Uh -huh. I wrote my own book. Uh -huh. It's coming out next week. Look. I, I don't remember you taking this photo. I have a memoir coming out in January, and you, James Franco, are going to be stealing my thunder a little bit. Don't think of this as a memoir. Think oh. of this as an homage. Homage? Yeah. I want the world to celebrate our erotic journey. <laughs> OMG, Dr. Franzen, you would not believe the week I'm having. First, my publisher calls me a little failure, and then my husband, the thespian, tells me his book is coming out before mine. James Franco has a book coming out? I have a book coming out. <laughs> little failure. More like little narcissist. I'm so sorry. Got to stop speaking the truth out loud. I'd like a coffee. Free trade or non-free trade? Uh, non-free trade? Figures. Thirteen dollars. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Read the sign. But you're reading that. It's not a memoir. It's an erotic journey. Franco has totally captured the zeitgeist. His prose is both locavore and artisanal. Oh my god, it's even more juicy on a tablet device. But why is he married to that dork? 